Okay, so we are starting continuing the favorite players. We did the Penguins last video. That was one of the hardest ones. And now here's another one of the hardest ones, the Philadelphia Flyers. To be honest, besides a very slim few players, I liked all the players in Philly. I really never had a problem with any of these people except for maybe Brian Elliott a little bit, but that was last year because he sucked every game he played. And I, I hate to say it, but that's just it. And with this team, I think they actually have a really good chance of winning the Cup this year. Yes, all that hype that was in before the pause is gone, but we're still there. We're still ready to go. So, at number 10, you have Shane Gossespierre. And Gossespierre, if he did better this season, or did better last season, in fact, he would have done he would have done better. I mean, he would be higher in the list. But he's number 10 mainly because of his name, and I really, really, really hope he doesn't get traded. Ghost fits really well inside of inside of Philly. And if he goes, I don't know what I'm going to do. I will, if whatever team he goes to, I'm going to start watching that team a whole lot more. They're probably going to move up my favorite teams list, but yeah. Number nine is Carter Hart. Carter Hart is going to be much higher on this list in the years to come. Carter Hart is evalu is evaluating, evolving into one of the best goaltenders in the league. He's the flyer starter. It's just absolutely amazing what he's been doing for the past few Past few game, past few months with the Flyers, and I really hope that he gets stay with the team, keep his consistency, and he'll be ready to go. Number eight is Oscar Lindblom. Oscar Lindblom, one of my favorite players. To have, I mean, like it's kind of sad. One of my favorite players to have like a disease or anything like that. Um, when he when he got the diagnosed with the cancer, he immediately became one of my favorite players. But then over the past couple of times, he's kind of moved up in the down in the list a little bit. So he's not like. Very stellar, a stellar player. He wasn't even really too, too good to begin with. He was their leading scorer at the time where he left, where he got diagnosed. Him and Konechny, Konechny got the concussion that one Senators game. I was there. And then the, I think that was Lindblom's last game as well. So it's not a fun past couple of days that time for the Flyers. Number seven is Wayne Simmons. Wayne Simmons, one of my favorite black players of all time. Um, He... He's behind P.K. Subban. He is um one of, even though he's with the Sabres right now, actually, which I actually keep, I actually feel kind of bad for. Um, he's still a very good enforcer. He's a really nice person, and he also runs that one hockey thing. I kind of forget what it's called, and I'm really sorry that I can't remember it. But yeah, there you go. Number six is Ivan Provorov. Provorov, Mr. Provorov is what I like to call him, and he. When he scored that one amazing goal, oh my goodness, he um, he immediately blasted on my list. And I didn't really like him too much before that. He was a meh kind of player for me. He was kind of, he was at the level just above Brian Elliott. It was like meh and then no. So, <laughs> there you go. So, after he scored that one incre incredible overtime goal against Montreal, he boosted up to be one of my favorite players. He started playing really, really well this season. And I'm just really hyped to see what he can do in the playoffs. Number five is Sean Couturier. Couturier, one of the best goal scorers for the Flyers in history and a little bit of a hot take, one of the best Flyers in the league when you kind of look at it. So he's been pretty well with his tenure with the Flyers since 2011. And even though I've only seen him three times, it's been an amazing run for him. I love it. It's awesome to see, to see him, to see him, to see all these players grow. And I can't wait to see what he can do in the playoffs because he didn't do too bad last playoffs. Number four is Jacob Voracek. My dad absolutely hates Jacob Voracek, but um, I love him because I have to love everything my dad hates. So, so <laughs> except Crosby. Crosby's off that list. So, with Voracek, he looks like Gritty. He might as well just be Gritty. And he's Gritty's an honorable mention, even though he's not a player. Gritty's an honorable mention. Other other honorable mentions, Thoraco Gudas and Brian Elliott, but like <laughs> he's not honorable mention. Oh, and Joel Farabee too. He's a he is basically gritty. Like he looks like gritty, and he's not. He, he didn't do too bad this season. Number three is Nolan Patrick. When Patrick got diagnosed with the with I forget what it's called, um, migraine disorder. I think it was called. It, I felt really bad for him, and he kind of went up a little bit, and he kind of really hasn't stayed down. I feel really bad for him to be honest with his. With it, with him like being like that, like he can't do anything about it, and he just has to wait it out. And I'm really worried that he hasn't played all season, and it looks like he might not play in the playoffs either. He has been pra he was practicing a few weeks ago. Well, not even a few weeks ago. Um, he was practicing like February, 
late February, early March. But now we really haven't heard any news on him. So I'm hoping that he's able to get in there, but you never know. Oh, also, another honorable mention to Travis Konechny, Michael Roffel. Um, I think that's I think that's it. Um, basically I'm mentions James Van Riemsdyk. Basically honorable mentions to everyone on the team here because I love everyone. So yeah, I, I it's true. And number two is Claude Giroux. Claude Giroux, I used to call him Clay Gurox for some weird reason before I was in the hockey, and then I realized it was Claude Giroux, and I was like, I'm such an idiot. So yeah, Giroux. Honestly, honestly, I think the Flyers now. I think they only have like this year and next year to win a cup with this with the team. So I would look at that and I would be like, okay, this is Drew's final chance, one of, one of Drew's final chances to win the Stanley Cup before he retires. And finally, number one, number one, this guy was like number twenty at the beginning of the year, but now he is number one because he just became one of my favorite players of all time. It is Kevin Hayes. Kevin Hayes comes to Philly, plays incredible. Scored a goal every time I was there. And I love I love when people get traded to our team and then I end up loving them. I was the same way with um, Ryan Hartman, but then he left almost immediately after. So that was kind of sad. But anyways, it was really, it was really proud for him to come here. He's such a nice guy, too. He is honestly one of the nicest guys I've ever met. And then that spit and chicklets thing. Oh, that was, <laughs> that was awesome. I remember I used to listen to the podcast while I did school. Ugh, I don't miss school at all. I got my yearbook today, and I'm I'm not gonna open it because it's absolute. Because I'm gonna cringe so hard. But anyways, it's off topic. So yeah, there's Kevin Hayes for you at number one. I said my honorable mentions: Gudas, Elliot, um, Gudas, Elliot, Gritty, Konechny, Van Riemsdyk, Raffle, Haig, Faraby, Frost. All those players that are on the team or that were on the team while I was watching the Morazic. Yeah, kind of. But anyways, that is it for this video. Phil Veroni as well. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video where we will do the Ottawa Senators' favorite players.